Good morning. Um, uh, I wanted to start making videos about Linux and you know and C programming language and stuff like that. Try to get it start getting into the actual work of Holistic Home Office. You know, the, I'm making these videos on the phone, so I can't really make. Uh, videos with uh you know like on my computer screen and showing my computer screen i have uh the kdn live installed on my computers but i not i haven't been using it for anything i i, I want to look, get to where i'm using that and making these videos but for now i'm just making the videos on my phone and, and putting them on the on the website on Google and then on the website. The Google's kind of like the database where I can easily access. And then I put it on a couple other sites. But um, so I was thinking about, you know, I'm, I'm reading this book right here for the second time, C programming. And um, just to, because uh, that, that's C is the language that Linux is written in. So I recommend it the first language, you know, programming language that you learn should be, I recommend uh, C. And just practice it and learn it, you know, and read books, read the books like this. You know, I got another one like, you know, network programming using C. And then I've got uh, another couple of books I recommend that you read. Practical Guide to Linux commands, editors, and shell programming, and a Unix and Linux system administration handbook. Each one of these is like a huge manual. You know, my main goal with this website, from the very beginning, my goal for this website has been to write a manual like that, you know, a 1,000 page manual for uh, home office, Linux in your home office. Because most of these manuals are written for somebody working for some giant corporation. You know, Linux is this program that corporations use to keep track of all their data and stuff. And what I'm trying to do is teach people how to use that in their home office. And keep track of all your stuff. You know, my whole idea is, you know, using your computer, your little home office computer. And it would be connected to your car and to your house and your phone and you would have all that would you know your central place would be your home office with your desktop computer and, and then your, your laptops you could take your laptop with you and work on your stuff at the you know coffee cafe you know that's kind of what my plan has been and i've been working on it for years now and so so now I'm working on C, and I don't really know how to program in C. I'm learning it. I'm going through this book for the second time now, and it's starting to kind of... And another thing I like to watch, I highly recommend that you watch uh, Harvard University's CS50 series on YouTube. You know, you can find it on YouTube, but you can watch it on several different places. I mean, the first time I ever watched it was on, uh, I think, EDX. It was some program. It wasn't Udemy. It was the uh, another program very similar to Udemy where I, could, I got the course. I can't remember right now what the name of that company was, but I bought that course. And I the first time I watched that, I, I paid for it. Now I've watched it like three or four times and it's you can get it for free and watch it for free on YouTube And so I recommend that you do that and watch that and uh, it's like a you know a semester of, of college at, at Harvard University computer science course and it's just CS 50 freshman level college computer science course and um, So study you know, you got to seeking the truth is the most important thing. You know, for if you want to be a computer scientist in a you know home office and make your, you know, you don't have to do all this stuff to be a home office entrepreneur. One of the things I have to deal with is, uh, um, you know, I've got this new job and I'm working like 
but somewhere between 50 and 60 hours a week. So I don't have a lot of time to, you know, investigate KDN Live or, you know, C or anything. So I'm just making these videos and throwing them up on the website without editing them. So, but, so the idea is to get your C, you know, start, learn C and you, and you create in your local development environment on your computer, your, you know, your desktop computer, you've got a folder and you would have one folder for websites and one folder for other projects, you know, just projects. And each website, like the website, the folder for this website is a huge directory. It's got pictures, videos, you know, a lot of all the stories, you know, and so the whole entire website is in one directory. And then, uh, you know, and so you do that. And then, like, say, if I wanted to make a calendar, you know, or something like that, some other project where I'm making an actual program that runs on your computer, then I would put that in the project folder. All the websites would go in the website folder and the, the other projects would go in the projects folder. And, uh, and each one would be a big directory of all the, everything that goes into that program. And then you'd organize your desktop that way, your file system and keep track of your information you know that's one of the hardest parts of the home office you know is keeping your file system organized well organized because it gets all cluttered and everything like that another thing you want to do is get uh, start using uh, a uh, like a nord uh, nord uh, pass you know where you're keeping your passwords stored in a place that's safe and secure and you can use that and uh, use your VPN get your VPN set up so you can you know you know I, private property is a valuable thing and privacy is also a valuable thing you know I, it's not everybody's spying on each you know is watching and recording everything that you're doing that's one thing about these computers just they record everything so you got to be careful about people watching what you're doing and everything like that and uh, you know and, and just you know work on your stuff <clears throat> you got to have a certain amount of time you got to keep working it's important for you to work you know and uh, be productive keep keep producing valuable stuff exercise your creative freedom and create something valuable something that's valuable to other people and uh, you know so learn C focus on learning C and and probably another really super important language that doesn't get a lot of people talking about is SQL you got to learn your database and get C and SQL and then Python is probably the next language I would recommend. And then you build your website with Python. You can use Flask, you know, or Django. If you use Django, you have to follow the Django way. With Flask, you can pretty much do whatever you want to with it. You know, it's just a small framework and you can build anything on there. And then you got to learn your JavaScript and your your HTML and your and your CSS and so there's all of these languages you know and try to keep them to a minimum because there's so many different languages I start with C get that one you know that's your base and learn that and once you, it'll make what if you learn C it'll make it learning the other languages a lot easier and then just get you know learn you know get get, get good at it and uh, it's kind of like building hot rod cars in the 1970s, you know, we used to build hot rod cars. Now we build hot rod computers and you got to know certain things and languages that can, it's just like language is the basis of civilization. Well, in, it's the same in artificial intelligence. It's the basis of, language is the basis of human consciousness actually. You know, human consciousness and civilization is human nature and civilization are based on language. 
and so is artificial intelligence based on it's based on languages and the languages you know there's many languages but the ones I like focusing on very basic easy languages well, they're not necessarily easy but C C++ Python um, Django uh, Flask HTML CSS JavaScript those are the languages and you'd build your your website you know you would have at least one website probably more than one and uh, you know and you set your computer up on on you know and you get everything you keep it all organized and you learn how to use it you learn how to use that database so you can keep track of your your customers you know keep track of your customers and everything keep keep track of your products and learn how to program that stuff so that you can set up build your little artificial cloud of artificial intelligence your own private cloud of artificial intelligence that's the whole what I'm trying to do here with this you know and then of course you got to make money there's the whole part about sales and marketing and learning how to be a good salesman and learning how to be a good businessman keep good records write your business plan and get that you know your your financial documentation is where you can record all your business documents and and just keep good track of that and keep a neat system where you have all that stuff set up and, and you just got to enter the data as you go along you got first you got to set the whole system up and then you got to keep it up to date keep adding the, every day or all the time you know you keep adding the data you know whenever you buy something whenever you sell something you know it goes in your ledger and whatever documents your your profits and losses and you just keep that up to date and learn how to do that you know use uh you could use LibreOffice to do it or you can buy it you can get some kind of specialized software for, for just for that you know and uh but uh that's c is it's it's kind of basic i mean it's very basic in there you, you learn that it's not a lot i can really say about that i can, i it'll be a lot better when i can show you the screen and i can put the screen up there and talk and talk while i'm doing stuff on the computer you know and i'm just not quite there yet but i just wanted to make another video because it's uh and i want to kind of get my attention focused on something more you know i've been talking a lot about philosophy lately and uh, you know which is fine but i want to get down to the technical you know the actual structure of your holistic home office you know and building stuff and and the computer science is you know it's a subject i don't really know that you know i'm not a professional computer scientist and i'm trying to learn this stuff and so these videos that i'm going to be making are going to be about you know what i'm learning it's going to be the notes i'm taking and, and i'm going to be sharing that on this website and uh, i'm going to learn this i'm learning it by myself i can't really afford to go to college it's not so much the money as it's the time although I can't really afford to go to college with the money either you know it's like I, I've either got the time to work on it or I've got the money to work on it. I can't seem to get where I have the time and the money to work on it so right now I'm kind of getting I'm finally getting caught up with the money and uh, because of this new job I just got and so I'll keep working on that and um you know buy some new stuff you know and that'll, that'll kind of help i can get get my computer set up so i can do all this and so that's what i'm doing and uh i don't know you know it's fun you know it's like i said you know i'm building the hot rod com computers and websites you know it's a teaching my channel of entertaining education that's all it is you know and it's fun and so, and I want to help people, and that's what I'm doing is helping. You know, I'm trying to help anybody who wants help. So thanks for watching, and have a great day.